Hey, look here. This is a hip that's backed, right? It's only a three by four, but you can see it's backed, right? Here's the notch. This is the backing. And it's a great looking thing, especially on beams. And my opinion is when you're coming up, when you're learning how to frame roofs, you should back everything, except maybe two by material. And I'm gonna show you a quick way. Now I know I shot a video couple of them about how to back but the fastest way the most accurate way is just to take your framing square set to the pitch of the roof and draw a plumb line and then measure perpendicular to that plumb line half the thickness of the rafter which this is inch and a half so that'd be three quarters of an inch and slide the square forward make another plumb line and then from self-explanatory from the first Plumb line just level over using the body of the square. And where those two meet there, you just scribe a line along the side of the rafter, right like that. And that rise and the run to the center of the rafter <coughs> will be the bevel. So you can draw that on a piece of wood the rise and the run and the diagonal and take your speed square and see what it is and set your saw to it. Run it along this line and the blade will come out dead center. Same with the other side. Most traditional way of backing.